This is an introduction to the OpenTunes interface. There is a lot that we could cover on this, and today's material will just be the tip of the iceberg, really all that we need to get started. <clears throat> First, note in the upper right there are some tabs called Rooms, and by default we're in one called Basics. Rooms are collections of panels that can be used for different purposes, and we'll explore some of these rooms later, but for today, basics is all we need. Uh, the interface is customizable, which is kind of a double-edged sword. In a future video, we will make a custom interface, but for right now, I want to stick with the defaults, and I want to make sure we're all seeing the same thing. So, I recommend clicking Windows, Lock Room Panes, to prevent moving things around by accident. Uh, within basics, there is a lot of stuff, and we're just going to focus on five areas today. Those are the viewer, the toolbar, the level strip, the X sheet, and the level palette. The other panels, we'll talk about some in future videos, but for right now, don't even worry about them. A little more detail about our five main panels going from left to right. In the toolbar, we've got a number of tools, and we'll talk about some in the next section when we start drawing. Uh, the viewer is where you will see and work on the imagery of your animation. A level strip and the X sheet, in open tunes, a level is a collection of drawings that go together, and the X sheet is where you arrange the order and timing of how those drawings will show up in your animation. So in the interface, the level strip is where you'll see drawings listed out for the current level, currently blank because we haven't made a level yet, and the X sheet is where we'll arrange the timing for those drawings. Finally, the level palette is where we'll see the colors available for our current level. Again, since we haven't yet made a level, right now it's blank. <clears throat> Again, for now, I recommend against customizing. Uh, the tutorials will be easiest to follow if we're seeing the same thing. If you accidentally change the interface and can't figure out how to change it back, you can click Windows Reset to Default Rooms. Uh, be aware, this won't have an effect right away, but if you close the program and reopen, it should be back to default. Uh, if you've been working, be sure to save your work before doing so. So, that is the interface. Now that we're a little more familiar with that, next up, let's introduce some drawing tools. I hope you find these videos helpful, and if so, subscribe for more tutorials, and check out thundercluck.com, especially if you have any young readers or fans of animation in your life. Thanks for watching.